Hey, so your problem is on the left, where you had to prove that proportion up there, and you were given all this information with the parallel lines and all that. And I realized the quickest way to do it is by using a theorem, and that's when you have this blue triangle on the right right here. And I labeled that you have a triangle number one, and then you also have a big triangle. Well, you know that you can set up A plus D goes with A in the same way that C plus B goes with B. But it's actually true that D over A is going to equal to C over B. That's a theorem, and that's going to help us in this problem. Um, so here's the steps in the proof, that you can just change D plus A over A to D over A plus A over A, which is equal to D over A plus 1, which is equal to D over A. Very similar thing happens on the right side. C plus B over B can get changed to C over B plus B over B, which is equal to C over B plus 1. But then you can subtract um, 1 from both sides. So I forgot to mention. Uh, going from D over A plus 1 to D over A, you have to subtract 1. So once you subtract 1 from both sides, you get what you were trying to prove. That this outer segment um, actually does go with the inner part. And again, it's equal to the outer segment over the inner part. So how can we use that here? Well, what's our D? It would be ST. And what was our A? It would be QS. What was our C? WV. And what was our B? QW. So we can just start to set up that D over A is equal to C over B. So I'll write ST over QS is equal to WV over QW. Okay? And that would be where I was using this triangle and then also the biggest triangle. But if I now use this triangle over here and the bigger triangle, I can do a very similar thing. So what would be my A? It would be that. What would be my D? It would be that. What would be my B? Well, now it would be this one. And what would be my C? Now it would be that one. So let's just plug in again. And we're going to get XT over XV. Um, I'm actually going to write XT as TX, since that's the way it appears in the proof over there. The thing we're trying to prove, I mean. And then what's my C? It's QW and WV is my B. Okay. And now at this point, you can recognize that up top we got WV over QW, and then we have the reciprocal of that over here. Well, here's a really useful fact. That whenever you have two fractions equal to each other, you can take the reciprocal of both sides. And if you wanted to check that, you could just cross multiply. It's not too hard to prove, though. So why did I do that? Because over here we had WV over QW. Now we have WV over QW here as well. Now we have two things that are equal to them. Well, that means those two things are equal to each other. So then that means I can write that ST over QS is equal to XV over TX. And that's very similar to what we're trying to prove. But what we're trying to prove is actually the reciprocal on both sides. But again, you use the same fact that I just told you, that you can take the reciprocal of both sides. And you get what you're trying to prove.